All right, so here goes a lesson on fire by Jimi Hendrix. So the first thing we're gonna do, we have octaves here. This is the 11th fret of the A string with the 13th fret of the G string. And when you do octaves, you need to mute the string in between. You gotta make sure you're muting all the strings, but you're trying to get the fifth string and the third string to be the only ones you hear. I particularly like to use maybe the pinky on this one. You could use this other finger too if you want. So what we have going is we're doing the 11th and 13th down one of the 10 and 12. So I'm going to do it with my pinky. I'm going to go. We're going to slide that down. So. Now our next riff is going to be 8 to 10. Then we go up to a bigger string. We hit the 10 and the 12. So. So this is like an F note and it's other F note going up to a G note. And then up to a lower D note. So that whole riff is. Okay, so let's try that. A one, two, three, and. Two, three, four. Okay, now we have this riff down here. So that's on the A and it's octave, fifth fret of the big string. Then we come down a string, we have the three and the five to the five and seven. And that happens a couple times and then he sings over that a few times on the verse. So you'll have that, you have drum fills in between. Does like four of those, but he does some kind of a riff like him. I mean, it could be like a, he, he does different things each time to make it sound cool. One of the things I think you could do is to bend that one with the, bend the 12th fret of the G string with the 13th fret of the B string and kind of do that double stop kind of bend thing. He might have some whammy bar happening in there, like probably not that chord, you know. He could be using the whammy bar with that kind of double stop bend kind of riff. And then he's gonna have this thumb up here on the 10th fret, and this is gonna be like a D chord shape down here. And it's gonna go, and that's gonna be that 12th fret on the little string there. But he's got this thumb up here, so it's like. got a little riff in between and it changes a lot it could be different things in that pentatonic minor type scale Your D minor pentatonic right there so I'm just going sometimes in that second one I'll go just to make it a little different and you could do your own fills in there you can listen really close to figure out what he does he does like him and Stevie Ray are like great at like always doing a different fill to, to make some cool guitar sound to fill that space. So it's never really repeating. It's always like constantly evolving. And then they did that live too. So you never knew exactly what fill you'd get or what, you know, whatever. So. So let's try that one more time. back into a verse. So that sets up the verse. So the verse always has four of these. And that last one. Try that D riff again. Now this time, we're gonna hit this D chord down to the C. And that's a tough stretch, but you wanna get your thumb over here on this 10. Hendrix did a lot of his major chords, not like this but like this with the thumb here and he's getting those notes in the middle and sometimes even all the way down to the bottom. That kind of thing. So at this point, instead of going down to for another verse, we hang on this, we're gonna get into a solo. 
So we've got this D chord. Then we're going to go down to a C chord. Then down to the 5th fret, A chord. Still using that thumb and muting that A string for sure. So I'm touching it here and I'm touching it there to make sure on either side I got it blocked. So once again from the D chord. C. A. C. And then we got a solo. So that's 10th fret of the small E string. So couple more bends to that 8th fret G note of the B string. So, and then again on that high note. Let's look at those first two riffs again. Then I'm going to come up here. Because he has a couple different guitars going on top of each other making some fancy sounds there. So one way you can kind of cop that is to do that little bend thing on the 15th fret with your pinky underneath. So the same note here is this 15th fret up here. So, you know, we could do the whole thing like... Up to you how you want to do it. So to make that a little more exciting, I'm going to do that kind of double stop bend thing. And then the last one would be like... If you're doing it down here, it'd be like, thing like that. So let's do the whole solo up here. So two, three, and. And then we're back to. set up another verse and we get all the way there and sometimes you hear kind of in the background a, a, a layered guitar like when the one is doing the kind of the other one's kind of kind of setting up a little blues riff to get into that chord thing again so it might be like you do that chord Let's say we've done the verse and we get back to that. You might hear a little bass riff, kind of a little a bluesy scale riff kind of pop in on that. Now here we go to E. And it starts this little bass line. That bass line starts with the E. Now basically what's happening is you're hearing the chord. Not so much going to the B note, kind of hanging on the E. So it's really kind of like a E a couple times down to D. Now the bass line is kind of going D. But I don't really hear the chord going from like E to B too much, D to A too much. So I feel like you kind of just like kind of wait. Now that's the background kind of chords for that. Uh, let's look at that bass line one more time before we move to the solo. So it's seven on the E. Hendrix bass lines do that same type of thing, that kind of chromatic walk from chord to chord. So now the solo is up here, we're in this E minor pentatonic kind of scale again. So, so when it's on the E chord, he's bending this D up to E a lot. And 
you can even get over there and bend this other one and it, the, all those notes work really well with this that kind of bass line that's happening so that's the D notes that's when it's settled into that other chord so it ends up coming down from its bend this would be the E so it's up to the E you can also throw that in there now it's on the D chord. So it kind of just goes back and forth with, um, and you can play around with that, kind of do, doing your blues scale. Not too many notes besides just this. A little bit to these kind of notes down here. Like. Okay, so basically you get in that solo and then you, you're fading out after that. So that's Fire by Jimi Hendrix. Let's look at all those parts again. So the beginning we got 11 to 10 with the octaves, 11 and 13, down a fret. Slide it and then 8 to 10 and bigger 10. And then we got, so that was A, big 5 to the 3 and 5 C to D. And then at the end of that section, kind of has a double stop bend with like a whammy bar. Like I say, he does very variations on that. And then we got. First time you go back to the, to another verse, but the next time you're gonna go to the, hold that D chord, C, and then A, back to C. And that first solo, I'll take it up top to. Back to your octaves. And then later in the song, we're going to have the. Cool. Hope you guys dug that. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Damon Wood. We'll catch you with some new stuff later. More Jimi Hendrix, more other stuff. Thanks a lot. Take care.